distinguished Senator Omishori coming to join us in APC. Uh, you know, definitely is going to move forward. And you know, he has an antecedent of performance. He has his record of supporting IFE. He has his record even both at the le federal level. You can see that with Governor Oyetola coming to match with him, to invite him, to encourage him to come to APC, he's going to promote APC. I can tell you with Tommy Shore, APC remains undefeated henceforth in state of Oshun, both at the federal, state, and local government. Really, Omishore was born to progressive. I did now come back to progressive. He's coming back now so that the entire Ife land is for progressive. So we are really, we are, we are happy. All Ife sons and daughters, we are happy. And we are welcoming him back to the progressive. Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. We're taking our conversations now to the Southwest. In the last few days, there have been two big, I, I would describe them as that, uh, defections uh, from the People's Democratic Party to the APC. Um, Iola Omishore and, of course, uh, Otumba Benga Daniels, as it's popularly called. Uh, we are joined this morning by Diron Odeemi, his um, Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the PDP. We're also expecting to be joined by Samuel Ibiemi, a former governorship aspirant, Ocean State, and, of course, at, in the APC. Good morning, Mr. Odeemi. Good morning, and thank you for this opportunity. I'm happy to join you this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's first talk about these defections. We saw, you know, the PDP's reaction to this, laughing it off and saying that they've basically been working for the APC all along. What are your thoughts about this regarding party loyalty? Um, it's quite unfortunate that, uh, you know, Nigerians continue to have this kind of leadership in the political parliament. You ask questions, what is the moral or where is the principle of people who claim to be leaders in all these political parties? I very much doubt it if they have that principle. And I think the followers who always believe that, uh, you know, they have these people as leaders. I call them dealers. They are not leaders, for example. And if you look at the, the reasons why they decide to go to other political parties at any given time, you will agree with me that it is neither because of the people, but it is basically because of themselves. Maybe they are in need of money and in need of power. If not, what is attractive in APC now that anybody in PDP will be encouraged to go and join them? Just oh. this morning, I listened to your station extensively. You talked about the insecurity of life and property, especially the abduction that just happened in Kagara in Nigeria State. So where is the attraction, if not for personal and selfish reasons? And uh, as far as we are concerned, it is only the registration of APC that is going on. Nothing more than that. Otumba Gwenda Daniel has left PDP almost immediately uh, uh, Tiku lost that election. And then you allow me show in Oshun State, you, uh, you, you, you will recall, joined APC right at the election during the rerun, even though we don't see him as a big fish. So we don't see, we, we don't believe we have lost anything. Because as far as we are concerned in election today, Otumbabu Mishore is nobody, he's not in control of anything. Look at it this way. The Ife Jesha Territorial District, where he comes from, is under the PDP. We PDP presented the uh, Francis Ali Bapadazi, and he is the city senator today. In the Ife, where Tumar Mishore comes from, we have the PDP won the rep there. We are a uh, big boy, you know, so he's the federal rep. So, what is the strength of Tumar Mishore? People like us, like Professor Wayne, like you know, Fashion Man, all of us, we were his strength. But now that he has left, <laughs> now that he has left PDP, I can assure you that he has killed himself. All right. Um, 
<clears throat> Mr. Ode, I mean, um, I'm going to ask, you know, in two different directions. I'm going to, but I'll start with um, Iola Omishori. Um, I believe you have a close relationship, or you used to have a close relationship with him. Um, is, is that still the same? I have a very good relationship with him. Okay. He was a year my senior in secondary school. Just to tell you that, you know, I thought okay. I was his spokesman when he was contesting the election in, the, you know, in 2014 and, you know, several years. Okay, we are very close. I know him is a very smart politician, and I can speak a lot about him. But what I'm saying is, if you decide to join people who label you as a killer, if you decide to join people who does not see you as having any political virtue, and you think they can trust you there, uh, I think he got it wrong. You, 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 you also... also Mr. Ode, I mean, um, just to quickly mention that you also just described him as having very little political value. Um, so it's not just uh, the APC now who's, you know, seeing you allow me to share it that way. You also just did so. Um, and of course, looking back at the history that you both have, uh, right from even in 2014. But I want to, you know, I want you to speak on, you know, the uh, comments about the 2023 general elections. You know, people are saying that all these defections are geared towards um, the 2023 elections, and it's likely that there might be a particular uh, Southwest uh, political leader that might be pulling um, forces together uh, to support him in 2023. Do, do you think that that is likely what um, is going on? Not at all. I don't believe it has anything to do with the uh, Southwest presidential candidate. No, I don't believe it. They are going there because they are in need of either money and power. And I can assure you that I can predict it. Wait till that 2023. You will see that all these people coming from TDP who are defending the APC now are not likely to support anybody to set up a bill back. That way. Mark my word for it. So they are not going there with any principle. They are not going there because of their morals. They are going there because of their personal. The request or demand that they want from the present government. So it has nothing to do with 2023. Politicians don't do things because of order, they do it because of themselves. And okay. That's what all right, so I'm aware we now have the former governorship aspirant of APC Ocean State, uh, Mr. Samuel EBME. Good morning, sir, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so we've been speaking about these affections from the PDP to the APC. And uh, your colleague here, Mr. Adiro Oyeyemi, just mentioned a point that I want to... Yes, I wanted to ask him, but I want to bring you in first, because he just mentioned uh, something about the APC. He said people defecting to the APC are not going there for any principles, but they're going there for money and power. Do you agree with him? Uh, <clears throat> Good morning, once again. Um, I'm sorry that I did not join the last night. Uh, talking about uh, uh, PDP or APC in uh, Oshun State, the state of Oshun, I can tell you that, as you all know, PDP did not have anything to offer. And uh, if you look at the state of Oshun today, you will see that for any reasonable um, uh, residents of this, the court, that is one of the reasons that we are saying to the people just wasting their time. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I joined uh, this one very late, so I could not hear most of what it's saying. But from the question you just uh, asked me now, I can boldly tell you that even for our distinguished senator, those who we were PDP, NDP to join uh, APC, it's another major threat to PDP because uh, PDP already, you know, looking at their accident. It's a party that they will promise and they will not fulfill. So already, the of us who are already tired. So, like what happened in the last election uh, is a typical example of what to expect in the future. 
by the right himself who has been very close to uh, Senator Yolo before in the past. Look at his own record too. What what are those two that made to, uh, to, to, to abandon Senator Yolo Mishuri? These are the questions we should ask him. So is a typical example of what is happening in PDP. Okay, right. Mr. Mr. Ibiami. Uh, we're having a bit of an issue with your audio, but I, I just wanted to get some clarity, you know, especially hearing from the horse's mouth. The two defections we've seen from the APC, what were the triggers, what were the motives for them? What? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, Mr. Um, Ibiami? Yes, can you repeat? Yes. I, I, I am asking yes. you for, for some clarity you know, regarding the defections we just saw to the APC as to what motivated them? Well, a lot of things have made us Senator Yolo Mishore to join APC. One, number one is the fact that APC is a party of progress. It's a party where you have your voice. If it's not a party where two or three people will just gather, regardless of the opinion that uh, uh, that you will not be concerned. And um, if you look at the the, the position right. of uh, our party from from time being, you see that it's a party that is looking at the welfare of people. And I'm sure there has been somebody. As I know him right from the time when I was in my when I was in the university, the man who cares for his that is place of welfare. So if you are not if you are not if you are not in a part whereby only the few, only few will just decide for the for the entire state. All right, let's um for let's bring okay. in um Mr. Uh, Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, Mr. Ibi, I mean, we're, we're trying to, we just hope that we're able to, you know, get your, your full attention for this interview for just the next few minutes. But uh, let's uh, bring in Mr. Odiemi now. We've heard what uh, your colleague just said and, you know, you know, disputing your words that they've joined for money and power. But I wanted to throw you back to the PDP now. What are the ideologies of this party? Thank you very much. It's quite unfortunate or it's, it's illogical when you blame PDP for uh, a misrule in court for 16 years. And you wonder the actors in PDP that got PDP to be labeled incapable of ruling this country. If these actors are now shifting this, from PDP to APC, and immediately they join, they now become the saints. Then you ask the question, what kind of democracy are we practicing in Nigeria? And what justification do we have to say PDP is a bad political party? Mr. Odey, I mean... As far as PDP is concerned, as far as PDP is concerned, the only thing we enjoy in PDP is full meaning of democracy, where you have no Godfather where everybody contributes to the progress of the political party. All right. Mr. Odey, I mean, I, I'm asking... You don't ask for your history before you become anything. So PDP is for the people. It's for the progress and emancipation of people. PDP has no uh, uh, manifesto that puts smiles on the faces of the people. All right, Mr. 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 Odey, I mean... Dear Odey, I mean, I, I want to, um, of course, still focus on the PDP. Um, do these defections, I know you initially had described um, um, Yolao Mishere as not having a lot of political relevance, uh, but do these defections show the death of the PDP in the Southwest? We currently maybe just have uh, Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State uh, still in the PDP. Um, there were rumors of Femi Fanikayo Day also, um, from, former minister, uh, likely defecting. That was a rumor. I'm not sure how true that, how that would play out. But does, or do these defections show the death of the PDP in the Southwest? Or do you think the PDP is still a strong uh, party with a solid base in the Southwest? 
How can now let me correct one thing? Send me fine. If I is not going to be fixed, take that to me. And I am happy he has not said it. Having a meeting with, with friends in order to listen to device does not translate to job issue. That's the one. And then when that that are talking about, you're only celebrating them because there's nothing new about them. They have left the party almost how many years ago. So it does not signify that PDP is no longer existing in Sandra. We are existing, we are solid, and by the special days of God, we are going to win more governors in the Southwest. So we are solid, we are not afraid. And just like I said, what you are celebrating today is not new. It's just the it's just being thrown up. Because of the fact that they just register officially for APC. All right. Okay. So, so I, 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 we are stable. We are in control. All right. I, I'm, so this question is going to go both ways. I'm going to start this one with um, Samuel Ibiemi, a former governorship aspirant to Ocean State APC. Um, I, I want you know to you to respond to the possibilities of infighting in the APC, seeing the history of these persons, and I'm going to be referring to uh, people like uh, Ibikule Amushu, or who. Um, over time has not been very, very close with um, Benga Daniel. Um, that Bob Abiodun also you know, comes into the picture here um, with all of this. So what are your thoughts on the possibilities of infighting in the APC in the Southwest, seeing the past relationship between you know, these persons, including uh, the national leader of the party, Balame Tinubu? Okay, with respect to the infighting in the APC, yes. there is no infighting in the APC. And uh, even with the coming of Senator uh, Yalom, only the opposition has seen the coming of Yalom as a threat. Where you have uh, strong people coming together, definitely there are people who will definitely be afraid. You have to disagree to agree. That is the principle of democracy. One person cannot just take the decision. Whatever you see in APC today, either in terms of disagreement, it's only the external forces that are raising, all right. you know, blowing all this uh, 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 disagreement beyond the level. Okay. Um, so uh, the, uh, yeah, I, th uh, I think I think that, that members of the party and the leaders. Of, I think you've answered the question. Uh, um, I, I don't want us to go too deep into. I don't want us to go too deep into you know the um, character of you know the APC as a party, um, but let, let's bring in um, Diron Odeemi, um, and of course your response to the same question: uh, the possibilities of infighting um, in the APC, seeing these defections happening. And I'm bringing in Ibikule Amoshu, um, uh, Benga Daniel, Balame Tinubu. If you look at the past relationship that these people have had, they've not been really, really, you know, uh, best of friends. So do you agree? Do you but think that there might be about crisis? There is going to be crisis. We are happy in PDP because we have so liability to them. They are doing that We have our PDP. I don't see them working together. And just like I said at the beginning, are you not going to say that the likes of Ola Dinubu, the likes of uh, Shibisi Akabe, who are leaders in the APC, we accept that now that officially no longer treat Bolai? Are you say, saying that they are going to trust him to such an extent that we now give him a position in APC? Of course, the fighting has just begun. This is just the beginning of many things that is going to happen in APC. So, as far as I'm concerned, I, I remain resolute on my stand that they are political. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Dero Odeyemi, the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. And also thanks to you too, Mr. Samuel Ibiemi, a former governorship aspirant of Oshun APC. We appreciate your time and thoughts on the breakfast. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Okay, right. so we're now uh, looking at something else. It's, it's an issue of an alleged murder or assassination of a Nigerian in South Africa. We've had cases like this 
too long, for far too long. And right now, we're having a public outcry. NITCOM is involved. And we have the brother of the diseased on the line waiting for us to get into this conversation right after this break. Do stay with us.